Hey guys, this is the Spirit Mongo 187, and welcome back for another match of Shadow Era, where we are playing Amber Rain again because it's almost the 1st of November, so the new season will start at November the 1st, and I do want to get some more rating. Uh, I'm up at 274 now, and I want to reach at least 300 when I'm when it's 1 November, so I hope I'm in the top 100. Uh, so I get some prizes. And there comes this Christopher Wild that really sucks. He's taking out my own. So are we gonna do drop the pew next turn? Sacrifice one pew and do another one and end turn. So next turn we are probably going to drop the blood frenzy. Get that out as quick as possible. Let's give our opponent the high and uh, fun. And let's hope we're going to win this match. So it looked like a mirror game at the start. Both we dropped the uh, Christopher Wild and the Puin. But lucky for him, he was the second uh, to drop his Christopher Wild to take out my Christopher Wild. So we're taking out this Christopher Wild because yeah, the two damage. I don't care about the two damage, but I really want that one gone. So he would not kill off my Puin next turn. So I got four cards left, three resources. It's probably going to cost them. Oh, I would say Jasmine or Alden, but here comes an Alden. It's one of the best drop you can do when I have an Alden in play. It deals exactly three damage, so that's really nice. And we're going to cost our Chillus Dream here. And I think I'm going to keep the uh, the bad center in hand. I'm not going to play it because I'm a little bit up front. I think I could have played because he has four uh, shadow energy, um, but that would be also very tricky because he could draw the cards that he needs. And I really like to play. Bad Santa when it's in a bigger advantage for me. There comes the server dice, so it's going to remove my blood frenzy. So maybe next turn I'm going to cause the bad Santa after all. Here comes a fleet foot messenger. Um, I think I'm going to I'm going to shovel back this. Do we want to do that? Um, I don't know. Let's see, we're going to draw this first. Play this first. Going to deal 3 damage to him and we're going to take some damage for ourselves. And yeah, I'm going to shovel back the bad sander. And do one damage to his all of them. I think we're going to shovel back the Christopher Wild next turn. Yeah. Because there is a big chance that he has a stop the thief or something in his hand. And yeah, Christopher Wild has already done his job in turn one. And too bad that he died in turn two, but and yeah, maybe I made some mistakes here, but I'm just trying to play the best as I can. Okay, there comes this Raven with haste. And stealth, it sucks. So we are going to skip this. Use our ability. Oh my god. This sucks so hard. This one has two resources left. Let's hit him in the face. And we'll just drop out. Uh, Christopher Wild here. Do one more damage. I think. Yeah, we're just going to drop the Pune as well. Why not? But I think he's going to kill the, the messenger anyways. So this was really a sucky, a really crappy thing that has happened here. I shoveled back one Christopher Wild and I drew a new one. So it was kind of crap. And there goes my Pune. 
And what does that ally do that he just played? So we've drawn a Blood Frenzy, that's really nice. Stat rest while Spirit Warrior is played. Okay. Um, let's just skip that over here. Attach that one. And we'll just hit him in the face for one. And I think we're going to wait. Maybe he is a stop thief, but yeah, I, I think he, even if he has one, he's not going to waste it because this only has one durability left. So I really need some crippling blows next to the next turn. Oh, there comes another server dice. That sucks. That really sucks. Well, I always also play two of them. To server dice, so and that's why you should play them because against Amber Rain, when they draw Blood Frenzy, most of the time they draw so many cards, and yeah, that just one damage in, the, in in your turn, it doesn't really matter because you have so many card advantage, you just win the game. But yeah, if he has two uh, server dice, yeah, it's kind of impossible for me to. Do something against it. Well, we are in a crappy situation here, so I guess I'm going to use my bad sand here. We are going to kill the spirit warden to just play the bad sand and turn. So now we drew a priest, but it's too late I think because he's probably going to use his ability and give something haste here that's still a nice card to have but I play 4 crippling blows and 1 retreat so there's a big chance I drew one of those but they didn't game there comes this Alden oh my god this looks really nasty I really need to stop this raven quick and the only card we can draw, where it can do it, is a uh, crippling blow at the moment. There it is, thank you. Uh, so we're going to crippling blow oh, the raven. And we just cost an all in ourselves. Because the Alden can survive and the priest doesn't. Well, let's hope for that. Unless he got an assassination or something. And I do think this is a, a game that we are going to lose. Because, yeah, if they destroy your Blood Francis and your Jubilous Dreams, our lands is a very hard matchup. So let's just play the priest. Uh, yeah, we'll just take down the, the Puin, I guess. Because I do not want to take out the Tainted Oracle, and I can't take down the Alden, so... But this turn he's going to attack him first, I think. Or destroy my Priest. It would be even better for him. And attack me with the Alden. So yeah, we are going to lose some raiding here. There comes another server ties. Wow. He already drew three server ties and he got 20 cards in his deck left, so this is sick. Yeah, this is a GG. It's impossible for me to win this. I think I'm just gonna skip the, the rest of my turns. Well, I'm trying to get out a new video as soon as possible because. Uh, yeah, since I changed the deck a bit, uh, I made it a bit more quickie with the Christopher Wilde and some other cards in it. Uh, yeah, I really won some matches, I think, since the last video I posted, I was at 250 rating or something. And back then I still played the Elementalist. So I've done some winning with this Emblem deck, but yeah, 
this was really crappy. But, hey, you cannot always win, but... So let's hope we're going to reach at least 300 rating points by the end of October. Uh, yeah, if you've seen this video and you like it, don't forget to uh, subscribe and comment of course, but also let me know uh, how many rating points you have, because I'm very interested in that. And yeah, I want to know uh, how, how my viewers are doing, and if you have um, more rating points than me, or less, or, or you're stuck at, uh, let's say, 240 rating points, maybe we can help each other uh, out, uh, swing out some tips to each other. And let's all try to reach uh, the, the top 100 players and get some foil cards or booster packs. So that's it. Amber Rain, we lost. And yeah, next time we're going to win, of course. Because hey, it's Amber Rain. She's a very good hero. Uh, so do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you next match. Cheers!